What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? How's everybody going today on this beautiful day? Let's take a nice little walk. I'm gonna show you the path that everybody's always talking about. Beautiful park called Graffiti Pier. Let's take a walk. Daytime is pretty awesome out here. Nighttime, this is it. gets totally dark out here. You like, you really can't see anything. But it's like one of those, the most beautiful is lost spots in Philadelphia. The city tried to close it down a couple of times from all the stuff that did happen back here. But eventually, the city left it alone and. They started building these brand new houses back here. So now the city like left it alone. So people come back here and they do a little hiking and do little music videos and graffiti. And sometimes occasionally you got the little dirt bikes to ride up and down the paths. You got paths up here to go up and down, which Got little trails that go on different angles. Remember in the winter time, my kids, we used to come down and we used to throw snow down these hills and just slide down them. But it's a pretty nice couple of paths up there as well too. But as you can see, they got all the brand new houses they built around here. And it's making it pretty, it's making it nice. But eventually these houses over here they're gonna end up trying to make this a beautiful more park supposedly they're supposed to make this brand new path trail where you can walk straight all the way to the end if you actually go to the Dietrich watson hot dog factory in tycone they actually got the path there already done which goes from the back of Dietrich watson all the way to almost the prison system and it's so beautiful nice path along the river system as you can see people back here just come over here there's a bunch of graffiti but these are the graffiti pier that everybody talks about the banded old tunnels some beautiful amazing views i'll tell you that tunnels these are the graffiti piers right here it's one of my favorite spots you can see the graffiti all over it bangs into the tunnels you got the tree right here where everybody climbs up and down it goes on top there's a path up there back tunnels you see it, it's got a bunch of tunnels everywhere. Like a bunch of graffiti, you got the towels on top. It's a pretty nice view from up there. I'll tell you right now, some of the artwork down here is amazing. But it's beautiful. It's a nice historical spot. Back in the day, this used to be some type of transportation center that used to ships used to come in and the ships used to ship everything across to the other side which is Jersey but you can see there's graffiti all over it's beautiful up here this is only the one side of the tunnel so far you actually got two versions of it You actually got some of them behind this wall up here that actually have rooms where I could say back in the day they used to have people where they used to sleep 
that's my favorite spot over there to go fishing that's where i camp out at beautiful relaxing that side of the pier is only one way in one way out it's amazing you can still smell some of the spray paint let's take a walk through some of the rooms and show you them these like old bunker rooms Yeah, hey, hey, E.T. from home, baby. I like little art pieces like that. That's amazing. I just gotta watch your step everywhere you go. There's holes and stuff everywhere. Remember, one time me and my nephews and all of us came back here playing manhunt. And my nephew fell inside the hole. Lucky he didn't get hurt. But it was funny as hell. Like I said, you can see all the old bunkers and graffiti everywhere. It's pretty cool. How you doing today? Are you vlogging? Yes, I am. Yo, that's so cool. Yeah, a lot of people ask about Graffiti Pier. We got this uh, website on Facebook. It's called Abandoned Places in Philly. No, oh, yeah, I've heard about that one. Yeah. So yeah, I'm doing a little blog and then put it on there so everybody can actually see what's Graffiti Pier, what they talk about. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it isn't the same because, like, you know, they, they're building new, you know, houses right here, gentrifying it. Yeah. Like, it really isn't the same as what it used to be. Like, I, not, I remember when I first moved out here from Brooklyn, I yeah. used to be my favorite spot oh, to sit Brooklyn? over there. I used to sit over there with my fishing pole. Now they got all the new houses. It's like everything it's is crazy. changing. Yeah. That's why I'm doing a little video so everybody can see what's in the box. Like everybody actually was a graffiti piers ball. Everybody hears about it but don't know what it is. So at least I can give them a little visual what it looked like. Yeah, what part of Brooklyn are you from? I'm from East Crown New Heights. York. East New York? Yeah, my brother lives in Crown Heights. Yeah, nice. Hey, it's, it's nice to meet you. My you can't fall here, man. My name is Anthony. Anthony, nice to meet you. Take care, easy out here. Yeah. See, people out here, they friend friendly. Everybody gets along, like it's a respectful place out here. That's pretty cool. Like I said, everybody gets along, everybody comes out here and enjoys itself. It's pretty awesome. Like, once in a while you have a occasionally knucklehead that comes out here, but otherwise, it's all respectful and nice out here. It's beautiful. It's like a little spot away from the city to get your mind away from things but yeah that's this is the first pier uh, the, the middle pier of it you see those are the new houses that they built and a nice city in the background at night time come over here it's so beautiful you see all the lights up but this is the one tower everybody sits on right there and you got the tower graffiti and then you got the other pier on that side which is my favorite and then this is the other side of the pier where everybody comes. And then you also got the life's uh, uh, last stop program it comes out here and they clean and everything. But it's like so amazing, so beautiful out here. Yeah, bro, I had to wake up. I, I had to wake up in the middle of the night, bro. Keep it coming out of fishing. Two times on it, bro. I was, my leg was hurt, bad as about to walk through the 